I want to elaborate some on the Allegheny Highlands Industrial Heritage and Technology Discovery Center and personally thank each of you all on City Council, the City staff, the City Manager and all in making this uh, Industrial Revitalization Fund grant available to us. The $240,000 will allow us to uh, complete the building, uh, button it up, uh, we've invested 1.2 million, uh, much of which came from the Allegheny Foundation. Uh, we've had a lot of publicity, and I'm real interested about EVO, because what we're doing there is all about technology. Uh, we, it's a museum from the standpoint that uh, we have items from the iron industry, from the paper industry, from the rayon plant, salt greening, all of those things. Uh, but the whole upstairs is technology driven. Uh, we have plans for about 15 makerspace places where we have uh, snap circuits and Legos and uh, combining snap circuits with Legos that make the gears turn. And uh, Mike Wade, who works on most of that, uh, we had to use batteries and we're concerned about using batteries and disposing of them. And he found an electrical plug-in that you could go with the snap circuits and all. The idea of uh, wireless power <laughs> is fantastic. Uh, and I'm very interested in, you, in your company because you mentioned Airbus as one of your... Uh, you may not know, but on Dunbrack Road, there's a member of the board of directors of Airbus that lives up there. He's a retired Marine General who was an aviator and uh, loves this area and what it has. Uh, but we are not stopping at $240,000. We have a $400,000 capital campaign going on. Uh, we have secured almost $75,000 from uh, individual contributors, uh, corporations, the Nettleton Foundation have been very good to us. Uh, we are preserving history and we are promoting STEM science, technology, education. And we're doing it in that building on Maple Avenue in Covington. And it's expected to be an economic stimulus to the rest of the community, which is why we were awarded this grant. You were awarded this grant. Uh, my contacts through Old Town Covington with DHCD were very significant. I live on Dunbrack Road, but this is my hometown. And so, uh, while I don't pay property taxes here, I try to contribute as much to the local economy as possible. And I appreciate all that this council is doing and the vision that you have. Working with Old Town Covington, uh, we're possibly going to submit to DHCD for a small grant to maybe hang some attractive banners on the light poles at Mid-City Mall and help the city as they plan forward. I was <coughs> to sit in on the public meeting on Monday, last Monday night, and that was tremendous. And so I look forward to great things in Covington and Evo and everyone else, and we need to get together. Yes. And thank you all for your support. Thank you, Bob.